Hey guys, so Jenny from Laser Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about dynamic maps and weather in Battlefield 5. Before getting into this video, just like say to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield 5, including news, rumors, and hopefully some gameplay pretty soon. But so what I mean by di dynamic maps are really dynamic weather and changing weather, changing time. Um, so day and night maps, dawn and dusk stuff like that on these same maps so what we could see is we saw a little bit of this in Battlefield 4 uh, for example on Paracel Storm where it's kind of sunny at the beginning uh, not too great but uh, towards the end of the map a storm rolls in uh, same with Gulf of Oman I believe it's called um, where the sandstorm would roll in and a similar events such as Dust Bowl in Battlefield Hardland but I really um, those didn't impact the map too much. I mean, Dust Bowl actually in Hardline did severely reduce the visibility and turn the map from really one of the best sniping maps in the game into really a map where if you're running around with an SMG, you could be pretty successful. But I really mean stuff like tornadoes, uh, maybe an avalanche on a map, something that not necessarily levolution, but that could act as levolution along as a weather event and could truly change the map. Um, as a weather event. Uh, we could also see the map start off at dawn or dusk and then by the end it's a full night map which could be really interesting. These have come up in multiple rumors um, of Battlefield 5 that we've seen. Um, other YouTubers such as Iceman Oz talked about this in the past but I just sort of want to give my opinion on this and tell you why I think we could get this in the next game. I mean this is really the next step of Levolution and a way that uh, DICE and Battlefield could innovate and it just would be insanely awesome I mean to have that kind of dynamic change uh, within a map as the game progresses as it a certain map wouldn't necessarily cater towards one type of player because it could change and it could cater towards multiple different types of players based on the weather at the beginning or the climate at the beginning and the climate at the end of the map um, we could also have one with a tsunami uh, which would be pretty much just all weather events, uh, specifically in a room where they did mention tornadoes, which could be extremely interesting if a tornado just uh, ran through the map and literally everything in its path, including buildings, vehicles, and even people, would be obviously torn up. And <laughs> even if you were flying a helicopter and you got too near, you get caught into it, a tornado could be really awesome. However, I'm not sure if it would be awesome from the outside and then once we actually get it in gameplay it'd just be frankly annoying but again these ideas pretty cool um hopefully we get a trailer soon there was a rumor that we might get a trailer on april 15th i don't believe it but uh, there's a slight possibility so don't forget to stay tuned to the channel for that but uh, no matter what we're gonna get this game at ea play it's almost a guarantee especially since they said it's gonna release before the end of the year if they don't talk about it at ea play that'd be kind of ridiculous but don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new here. Tell me what you think about dynamic maps down below in the comments. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.